Hi guys, in this video we're gonna go through more advanced filtering, slightly more advanced. We're gonna learn how to filter based on more than just one field. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll split this up into a couple videos because there's a you can get quite sophisticated with uh, quote unquote advanced filtering. So let's just start by taking what we did in the previous tutorial one step further. So let's forget about ordering for now. Uh, we were selecting the product name and product price from the product items table and we were filtering where product name was not pants. The results were obviously, hopefully, correct. No pants in the uh, product name. So we eliminated the records that have pants as their product name. Okay? Now, Looking at this data sheet view with the results of this query, let's um, come up with a kind of practical n next step. What if we want to look for products that are not pants, but have a, pr or, or not but rather, sorry, and, and have a price greater than 50 56 dollars let's say or fifty dollars let's keep it simple so basically we will be eliminating this record and this record right so if we make it 60 greater than 60 we'll be eliminating a few more and the results will be more obvious let's just do that okay so what we should end up with are these this jacket these boots this jacket and that's it so let's see how to actually implement that so Back to SQL. So basically, starting where we left off, we would go to the end of our first filter, and we would add and product price, which is the field, the second field we want to filter on, greater than 60, we agreed, right? So let's see the results of this. In fact, we get the exact uh, records that we expected product name is not equal to pants and product and i stress and product price is greater than 60. both of those conditions must be satisfied in order for the record to come up in our results going back what if instead of we instead of uh, having both of those conditions either of those conditions were uh, sufficient for us. So instead of typing and here, we would type or. So we're looking at products that are not pants or products that have a price of greater than 60. So we're going to expect a lot more results than in the previous. It's less restrictive. Let's run this. And we see that we have products that are not pants. Uh, why is pants in there? Well, we said, or the price is greater than 60. So is the, are these particular pants greater than 60? Yes. Therefore, they make it through the filter. You see, the other pants didn't make it here. There were like two other products that were called pants. But I bet their price was less than 60. We could quickly check that uh, right now. Okay, so uh, vice versa, we could look at the product price first, and we see that there's these two, actually, actually quite a bit. These four, and then this guy down here. These guys are not greater than 60. So how did they make it through the filter? Because it's an or filter, and the other condition was or the uh, they're not pants. So. Are these pants? No. So they satisfied one of the two conditions, so they make it through the filter. So they, in with an or condition, either of the two or both of them will result in the record showing up in your results. Okay? So that's and and or. Ah, very quickly, we wanted to uh, do a simple query to see all pants, right? So let's, using the knowledge that we have so far, that should be easy, right? I, th I said, I claimed there were three pants, so let's check. 
Yeah, in fact, there were three pants. Um, and only one of them was greater than $60, and that's why it showed up. The other two, one was 45 uh, so it didn't satisfy either of those two conditions, so then it won't fill, come through. And the other was null value, which is not going to satisfy greater than 60, of course. Okay. All right. So we'll build on this. We'll, we'll do a, a little more um, filtering that will kind of build up uh, and let us do more sophisticated uh, filters. All right. So till next time, have a great day.